Today's lesson is going to be the Loomless Cotton Candy. For this project, we're going to be needing six white bands, 10 pink bands, and 10 blue bands. Make that 12 pink bands, because I need one to secure and tie off that I forgot about, and another one to do the little end here. If you don't like the blue and pink together, you can certainly use two different shades of pink. But to go along with our loomless theme, we also have loomless peanuts, loomless popcorn, my favorites, the caramel apple and the candied apple, once again, loomless. And anybody want a corn dog with mustard? These are a loomless item also. Some items that we'll be making to require the loom are the bucket for the popcorn, a larger version of the cotton candy, and we have a single, a double, and a triple dipped ice cream cone, and then snow cones also. So let's begin with our stem of our um, cotton candy. To do that, you're going to take a single band and wrap it around your hook four times. One, two, three, and four. So you should have what looks like four bands on your hook. The next step will be to take a single band, twist it around your fingers to form a double band, and then slide that four twist over onto your hook, or onto your band from your hook, and reclaim the end. Another single band, twist it around your fingers to form a double band, pull that through, and reclaim. This is the only way to get your stem skinny enough to make it look like a true paper cone. That was another band, double twisted, and around again. Single band, whoop, nope, I'm sorry, we've got one two, three single bands double twisted. The next one is going to be the two bands. Pull that through and reclaim. Okay, now our next step is going to be just a little awkward for some of you. Take and slide this up your hook further. I want to take a pink band and wrap it around my hook twice. I want to take a blue band Wrap it around my hook twice. Another pink, twice. Another blue, twice. Another pink, twice. And another blue, twice. Another pink, twice. And another blue, twice. So you actually have eight bands, four pink and four blue, double twisted onto your hook. Then we want to take our remaining bands that we have here, and there's no real rhyme or reason, just place two somewhere on the loom, or on your hook. I say loom because I'm used to doing loomed items. Two more somewhere on your hook, random spot. Two more somewhere on your hook. And you just want to alternate them so that they don't all, you don't have all the same color in the same spot. And you can do as many bands as you want, or as few as you want, no real rhyme or reason. Just load up your hook. And this is going to be difficult for some of you. This is how we finish it off. Take and slide all of this, all of that, onto that band that you're pulling through, including your white, and reclaim that end. And we're going to slip knot that off. And you want to pull that pretty tight. And you'll see down here that we can take it and just wrap it around our base. And that will tie that off and make our cotton candy look really cute. And we just want to reach in and kind of stretch and pull 
and tug some of these in different directions. Poke a couple through. No real rhyme or reason to this once again. You just want to sort of spread them out, make them look uneven because really cotton candy is not an even looking item and just keep fiddling with it. And the more you tug and pull, the more awkward it will look and uneven it will look. And here we have got a cute little cotton candy creation that you can use for your carnival summertime theme. As I said, if you wanna add more, you can certainly add more bands, add more loops if you want. It doesn't really matter. Very creative with this. And I hope you'll post your creations on my Instagram which is Crafty Ladybug, or my Facebook page, which is Crafty Ladybug Dash Rainbow Loom Creations, and you'll follow along for some of the other loomless items in this Carnival Summertime theme series. Thanks so much!